How do you know if someone is really interested in your product? Whether you like it or not, he or she is actually saying, I vote. In other words, they are politely rejecting your proposal. You are rest assured to hear they are saying, I'll get back to you. And it's a sign they are about to close a deal. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Rand Real with Zengage. Thank you so much for asking so many questions last week and some of you all written to me and asked why your question has not got featured. So my request is keep on asking questions. We are going to do a lot of content pieces for you and give you answers to all your burning questions. So we are actually now this week who's going to ask you the most featured question. Ashley, go ahead. Dilukshan, this time the question is from Justin via LinkedIn platform. I will prompt the question for you. Dilukshan, I am a tech entrepreneur. I have developed accounting software to manage various operations. I have approached more than 100 plus companies within last couple of months but all I heard was we'll get back to you that never happens how should I handle this Hi Justin thank you so much for sharing that question not only you but many entrepreneurs are going to get into this trap of I will get back to you the truth here is when a customer tells you I'll get back to you whether you like it or not he or she is actually saying I vote in other words they are politely rejecting your proposal so i understand how frustrating this might be you have a great product out of the box idea exclusive pricing and everything that you require to sell your product like a hot cake but in reality it won't happen but still you couldn't convince your prospect now if you heard me right i use two terms here i use customer and i'm using prospect So what is the difference between a prospect and a customer? How do you convert a prospect into a customer? Let's apply some reverse engineering here. Think about the last time when someone tried to sell you a product and you said the same. I'll get back to you. In my opinion, there are three reasons behind these statements. Statement number 1, you don't need it. You don't have any requirement for the product or it doesn't really appeal you. Statement number 2, you tell it because it's too expensive you are you are not doing market research you don't know market pricing and you don't know what's a customer selling purchase point point number 3 is where you understand your ideas or features are not anything that a customer would like to waste customers feel this is not a investment this is a waste of time if your pitch fails into any of these criteria you are rest assured to hear they are saying i'll get back to you understand these are not customers now let's look at the other side of the coin how do you know if someone is really interested in your product they will ask questions it might sound simple but it's the only way you can define them as a prospect when they are interested in your product or service or idea they will want to know more about it what is the product about what is the price what are your solutions what are the features what are the benefits and how where what when and why all these questions will start to flow in and it's a sign that are about to close a deal coming back to the latter part of your question how do you handle the polite objection of i'll call you back now if you look at many sales gurus they'll teach you 10 different ways to handle objection five different ways to follow up i'm not going to tell you any of this it's already been discussed If you ask them, "May I know when should I call you back to follow up on this?" It literally means you are on a desperate strategy. You want a deal very fast. Instead, change the game. Ask questions to fill the gaps. What is that you are not convinced about my product? Is it actually the product or the solution or is it the feature? Is it the price? Would you consider a customized solution? Can I give a payment plan to you? always ask question to understand what your prospect really wants remember i'll get back to you is not an answer to closing a deal so understand who is your customer who is your prospect and this is dilrukshan fernando signing off i'll see you in the next episode of rand real with zengage <music>